Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a certified second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. I greatly appreciate your support. I see our small family is getting larger and that is thanks to you as well as thanks to those of you that are visiting for uh, my channel for the first time. Welcome. I hope that you find this Sagittarius personal growth and spiritual journey reading uh, insightful where I'll be tapping into or connecting with your uh, past your recent past your current energy the energy that is coming up for you as well as the mindset that you will be in when this energy or new energy comes in your direction now this is a general reading if you are interested in a private one-to-one -one reading you could check down below in the description box all my information is there please note i do not reach out to potential clients so if anyone is claiming to be me please know that it is not me okay i always allow potential clients to reach out to me not the other way around okay so please be very careful with that <clears throat> that being said sagittarius let's take a look here at your past in regards to your personal growth and spiritual journey all right so the energy that we have here in the past for you is your commitment is being tested i feel here in your past there were a lot of challenges it says here three quarter moon three quarter means three quarters of the way not quite yet fully at that stage where you have manifested all that you have been either trying to bring into your energy field or that you are three quarters in into that awakening or further developing your intuitive skills here all right let's take a look at more information here in your past whoops okay your commitment is being tested yeah <clears throat> there were a lot of obstacles and challenges here that I feel uh, were happening here in your past that were in a way testing your ability to uh, to have this sense of uh, to not have but to sustain this faith okay to sustain the stamina that you needed in order to overcome whatever obstacles and challenges that you were facing here in your past let's take a look here at the next one wow it says the oracle sacred living spirit speaking and intervention so there may have been this like i said three quarters of the way in not quite but still trying to manifest or still trying to tap in to this um uh connection with the divine okay this connection with the higher realms or even this intuitive connection with yourself it's like you were in that process or you were continuing that process i feel here for some of you the sacred living is talking about that there was some type of implementation of routine or implementation or the beginning stages of you implementing this routine that uh further helped in your uh spiritual journey okay or that was helping you in your personal growth and at the same time was helping you uh to further develop your inner awareness here okay let's take a look at more information in regards to your past and your personal growth and spiritual journey so you have here making friends friendship is the acclimate of success so i feel here in your past or recent past that you may have been connecting now you may have been connecting to your 3d realm of uh, support system okay so that may have been your family friends um your loved ones someone that you felt close to okay here in the 3d realm for others of you i feel that you were already starting the process of connecting to the higher self okay connecting to this um you know to your celestial team or listening to your intuition or creating some type of regimen here where um that was starting okay it was like you're you were starting to create or build or establish a friendship with your higher self with your uh spiritual team okay with um 
like divine intervention, okay, or uh, the celestial realm here, okay. Let's take a look here at more information, um, more details here in your, re I'm sorry, in your past in regards to your personal growth and your spiritual journey. So you have here the strength card, okay, Leo energy there. We have the page of swords followed by the seven of swords followed by the four of pentacles and the king of cups i feel here in your past there was a sense of trying to create a sense of calmness here when we're uh with this energy of the of the page of swords here page of swords is about analyzing it's about reviewing it's also about being very curious it's about having a lot of mental energy being very curious having a lot of thoughts and ideas in the head also the uh, the the beginning stages here of trying to have a clarity of communication so i feel here with your strength card here it's like the page of swords it's not it's not looking at the strength card but in a way it's trying to move forward with a sense of strength here and the strength card says i can deal with whatever comes my way and i feel that that's exactly what it was doing here for this page of swords energy it was creating the sense of self-confidence creating the sense of being able to manage okay the inner beast or that inner part of you that may have been a little bit restless whether that was in your personal growth or in your spiritual development okay i feel here that that sense of strength that the way the woman this woman is a uh, gently uh, pacifying this tiger now just imagine this is all soft subtle energy okay and and it, and, and it has to be in, in a way that way because you know this lion is right in front of her face so if she manhandles this lion it's not going to be a very pretty picture so i feel that that's what you were doing for yourself here sagittarius in your past you were in a way pacifying that beast inside of you that untamable energy and that you were trying by creating the sense of just taming you were trying to create a sense of clarity here in those aspects about uh, of your inner self here okay that needed that type of taming that needed that type of gentle force that you were constantly here with the infinite symbol okay that you were constantly doing for yourself so that you would be or at least your uh, mental energy would be a lot calmer okay a lot easier to think okay so it would be easier for you to figure out what would be your next your next steps or how to evaluate the sense of sense seven of swords energy uh that the pages of of swords is walking towards okay so some of you had this sense of either deceiving yourself not really looking at the truth of a matter okay others of you may have experienced here in your past a sense of deception either by someone else or a situation that wasn't very clear to you okay it says i take great a great care of what i value all right, so there was a sense here of something that you valued and you were trying to hang on here with the four of pentacles, which says, I trust, I am always safe and protected. So there was something here in your past, um, Sagittarius, that you felt was very near and dear to your heart, something that created a sense of stability or a sense of security. All right, others of you may have... Uh, been in a way either deceived or didn't see something very clearly that you yourself were hanging on to or that was very important to you okay here with the king of cups all right this is all about the heart energy this is all about anchoring your emotions and your sense of compassion along with your intuition so i do feel here in your past sagittarius that you were hanging on to not only your sense of either loving yourself 
or being compassionate to your, you know, with your own self during these circumstances here in the past, but that you were also hanging on to and holding on to your sense of intuition to help guide you, okay, or to have guided you here in your past with this Page of Swords and Seven of Swords energy. You have here in your recent past the Eight of Swords, okay, followed by the Six of Wands, followed by the Heriophant, and last but not least, the Star card. So I feel here in your past or recent past energy, the Eight of Swords is all about your mind being trapped, okay, into this. Um, I feel like this type of hamster wheel energy, okay, of you just rethinking and reliving a situation that is emotionally or that was emotionally taxing for you. And not only was it emotionally taxing for you, but it was also mentally burdening you, okay? And in a way, it was you yourself that was entrapping your own, uh, your own self here in the past, okay? So you were doing that by constantly here with the page of swords con constantly thinking about that specific situation others of you really tried to control this energy here with the strength card you were trying your best to take a hold of this eight of swords energy where it says i release myself from self-inflicted binds and i feel here in your recent past that's what it that is what you were trying to do you were trying to release yourself some of you were very lucky in the sense that you were able to actually accomplish this and i can see this by the six of wands energy which is all about success it's all about victory it's all about being able to overcome whatever internal or external challenges or conflicts that you were experiencing here in the past now whether that was in your personal growth or whether that was the dark night of the soul of your spiritual journey okay i do feel here with the hario font that there was a sense of wisdom of, of of victory okay that this victory uh gave you the sense of being awakened or being more um i i feel here be more in tuned with your own wisdom your own um inner oracle here it says i am ready to love and learn and i feel a lot of you here in your recent past were in that spirit of learning okay learning to uh, embrace the sense of achievement and success and learning to heal here with the star card learning to heal that which caused you either a sense of anxiety pain or loss whether that was mentally or whether that was emotionally okay so let's take a look here at what is your current energy Sagittarius what is your current energy here in regards to your um, area of personal growth and spiritual journey okay so we have here a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries i feel that your current energy is all about pushing yourselves forward it's this aries energy this ram energy of perseverance okay there may be at times this push and pull here some of you may feel it mentally some of you may feel it internally this push and pull here that's happening because there's just a lot of this um i'm fearing i'm, I'm not fearing i'm feeling here uh the sense of just rapid movement here with this energy um but i also feel here for some of you that you are in a way uh persevering you're you're really pushing ahead you're like that ram trying to get to the top of that mountain again some of you this is um on your spiritual quest or your spiritual journey others of you um it's all about your personal growth here that you are moving forward here okay all right let's see some more details here about your current energy so I feel here, wow, you have the seer energy. All right, so you guys have here future prospects, decisions to make, seeking guidance. I feel a lot of you are in this energy of trying to continue to seek, continue to seek to be enlightened, continue to seek 
to grow and learn either learn from others that are more intuitive or even just sitting down with your with yourself and trying to engage more with your spiritual surroundings okay with your in uh, your spiritual team all right your celestial um uh, spiritual guides here and I feel that what you're trying to do at this current moment in time is trying to seek a sense of clarity, trying to make, uh, trying to think about things in order to make the decisions that you need in order to move forward, whether that is in your personal growth or in your spiritual development. Okay, so you have living in the moment. What you are looking for is with you. Again, sharpening that inner inner oracle, sharpening that inner intuition because you are doing this. You're seeking that type of guidance. You're now in this, um, um, I'm hearing proactive, in this proactive energy here of the full moon in Aries. You're pushing yourself forward. You're propelling yourself into this fast moving energy of trying to get to the bottom of things in regards to your spiritual journey and your spiritual awareness you're trying to find clarity you're trying to be more present and that means in a way trying to be um or trying to continue i feel here the regimen or the um patterns here of this ritual that you were doing in the past and i feel that that is what you are currently expanding on here in the present you're kind of in a way establishing a spiritual routine some of you are creating a more of a uh, routine to enhance your personal growth and that in and of itself all boils down to this guidance that you are now opening yourselves up to or others of you continuing the process of opening up all right and again with this energy of this um, full moon in Aries I really do feel that this is really pushing and uh, catapulting you into this new energy with the five of swords i feel some of you still are a little bit hung up here with maybe a sense of loss of separation um that you may have experienced yeah well when we are going through a sense of enlightenment or a sense of a spiritual past there are some things that we do we do need to let go people connections uh that we need to let go because there is this new beginning heading in our direction right there is this newness that we're trying to fulfill and that newness is all about abundance it's all about prosperity it's all about uh, fertility and growth and you know sometimes we outgrow uh, certain connections or certain situations because we need to leave room for the newness right and also this sense of epiphany here with this with the judgment card I feel here with the judgment card you're now at a position where you can look back on the past okay and say to yourself wow you know I I I, I feel the sense of compassion of uh, you know of myself and it says here I look back with compassion for myself okay and this is because and, and it's interesting because it's right here in this perfect alignment here with the four of Pentacles it's like you're really holding on to the sense of wisdom from the past and the sense of healing here in your recent past so your recent past has the hierophant the wisdom uh the learning of healing okay learning to heal that which is of importance to you and of value here with the four of pentacles okay and the king of cups is this mastery of the emotions and this mastery of intuition as well so you are currently in this in a way self epiphany or self-realization it says again i look back with compassion for myself you're looking at the past with a sense of wow i'm at a different place now okay i am in a place where i am now um, able to seek the guidance that I need inside of myself or at least reach out to others in by living in this moment in time by embracing uh, it says what you are looking for is within you is this inner Oracle okay and this persistence and this fiery energy of the full moon in Aries propelling you to this phase all right, so let's take a look here at what is your upcoming energy. 
what is your upcoming energy Sagittarius here in regards to your personal growth and your spiritual journey all right so your current energy is the balance uh, I'm sorry, not your current energy, the energy that you are coming into, the energy that's coming in your direction is this balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So some of you here are going to be in this, in a way, in this equal embracement. Okay, you're going to equally embrace that spiritual side of yourself as well as the practical, logical side of you. It's like you're going to be in this energy where you're going to value both, that both are going to be of equal importance and that both here with the full moon in Pisces is this high regard for your intuition. It's like you're going to not only listen to it, but you're also going to, uh, in a way, embrace it and work with it in every step of your uh, new energy that's coming in for you. All right. So let's take a look at the, well, it's two cards, actually three cards that popped up. So you have the tree of illumination, okay, which is all about truth, truth and revelation and understanding. So again, you are going to come to this energy of understanding of how to work with both your intuitive self as well as your logical self, okay? You have here the gift, present, honoring, and offering. And I feel that you are going to further tap into your intuitive gifts. You're going to further tap into the innate ability that you have to guide yourselves okay it's like you've always you you have we all have intuition some of us decide to listen to it and to develop it others of us decide to put it in the back burner right so i feel here that with this new energy that is coming in your direction it's all about blossoming okay blossoming like this lotus flower lower the lotus uh flower uh grows and opens in a very uh type of swampy type of environment so it's saying here that this upcoming energy from whatever obstacles and challenges you have endured here sagittarius you are going to flourish and you're going to continue to flourish here in this upcoming future let's take a look here at what other uh insightful and uh messages are coming in your direction so it says here slow down to relax break to enjoy the beauty around you all right so this upcoming energy is all about with this balance of spirituality and practicality, it's telling you that you also need to slow down. You need to slow down so that you can decipher when it is a logical uh, decision that you need to make and go, you know, in a way through the logical path. And when you need to withhold or withdraw into yourself and listen to that inner oracle so that you can make decisions okay based on your intuition what is your inner self telling you to do or what is your inner or higher self guiding you to do in this spiritual journey or even in your personal uh, personal growth so here in this upcoming energy you have the four of swords okay so is this time of rest interesting you have two cards here from two different decks giving you Sagittarius the same message you're going to come into this energy where you're going to need to take a step back in order to fully assess your logical side and fully assess and embrace your intuitive side so that you can make better judgments for yourself so that you can better um, navigate okay and it's interesting it says break to enjoy a break uh, break to enjoy the beauty around you it's like having to take a step back and smell the roses okay it's that type of energy i'm hearing here self-care as well and self self-nurture it's like be kind to yourself is what i'm hearing here you also have the three of wands energy another 
uh, energy card here, uh, another uh, card uh, focusing on the energy of having to wait, okay? So this upcoming energy is all about waiting. It's all about waiting for the right moment in order for you to expand, to expand maybe in your personal growth and in order for you to expand in your spiritual journey. Okay, so this Three of Wands energy, it says, I have the energy um, I need to realize my goals. And that is because when you when you will be, okay, this upcoming energy of the Four Swords, which is, again, taking time to regroup. And again, this Three of, of Wands energy, which is taking a step back and having to wait. You are, in a way, waiting with a purpose you are waiting while you are deciding and deciphering what it is that you need to do and when it is the right opportunity for you to set forth in this new energy of the ace of wands okay i feel this ace of wands energy is all about this new beginning you are going to encounter or you're going to be surrounded by the sense of uh, desire the sense of passion whether it is in your personal growth area or there's this just um uh, unbelievable desire and passion that you're going to be tapping into inside of yourself in regards to your spiritual journey it's like you're going to be in this pre uh, proactive mode but in order for you to be in this proactive mode there is a call here telling you that you need to then just sit back figure out what you need to figure out before you uh, jump into this new energy of new beginning okay of really embracing your intuition you're embracing the desire embracing the passion because again you are going to need to be able here in the near future or in this upcoming energy to balance your spirituality and your logical uh your logical uh energy okay or your your logical sense all right so let's take a look here at what uh frame of mind will sagittarius be in here in this upcoming energy with the four of swords three of wands and the ace of wands okay so this just flipped out on its own and it says i am beautiful inside and out I feel there is the sense of confidence that's coming uh in for you and as well as i let go of worry and trust um i'm sorry it says i let go of worry and trust that things will work out okay okay so with this i am beautiful card i'm feeling here that you are going to be in the sense of confidence okay you're going to 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 be in this sexy mode in a way all right feeling very confident about yourself feeling very sure of yourself here i feel here um that with this other card here where it says i let go of worry and trust that things will work out okay this energy is you're going to really be reflective you're going to let go of these um anxieties that you may have had in your past or recent past and you're taking small steps or you will be taking small steps to overcome the sense of worry the sense of eight of swords that you had here in your recent past to be able to let go of those um sword energy or that mind energy and it's interesting because you have strength here okay so you're trying to remain strong here and all of these are swords you have the strength card the eight of swords the five of swords the four of swords okay so you're trying to really regain your sense of strength here uh and trying to uh gain strength or control here of your mind in order to embrace this ace of wands energy this new beginning this new passion in your personal growth area as well as your spiritual journey Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not part of my Lexa Tarot family, just click here in the Lexa Tarot logo and join our family. For others of you, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.